warning by the ECB after he breached coronavirus protocol. Archer was dropped for the second test against the West Indies at Old Trafford, where rain wiped out the day's play. Ahead of day four, England still have a first innings lead of 437. And there's more on the BBC Sport website, including Katie Bolter's win at the Progress Tour Tennis. But, Kate, that's it from me. Lovely, Catherine. Thank you so much. And you can see more on all of today's stories on the BBC News Channel. But that's it from me and the team here. A very good night to you. Bye-bye. Hello. So as you just heard, no play today at the Test match at Old Trafford. But it wasn't to wash out across northwest England because I'll start with a rather inviting view here from the Lake District because Cumbria ended up just to the north of a very slow moving weather front with cloud and patchy rain affecting other parts of northern England, Wales and the Midlands. And this weather front started in Scotland and Northern Ireland on Thursday night and won't clear away from South East England until tomorrow night, such as it's very slow progress across the UK. And in fact, right now, it's finding a new lease of life, bringing some heavier rain to parts of southwest England, South Wales. Overnight runs across the Midlands towards East Anglia. Maybe useful if you want a splash of rain on the garden. Warm and muggy here with the cloud cover, whereas elsewhere, if you've got clear skies, could well be into single figures. And a few showers continuing in northern Scotland, as they will tomorrow. But away from this weather front, tomorrow brings a lot of fine weather and yes, sunshine along the weather front, though some in the Midlands and southwest England will definitely brighten up, but across much of East Anglia and southeast England, it'll stay cloudy and still some patchy light rain for some into the afternoon, maybe even into the first part of the evening, the further southeast you are. Cooler, fresher here for many of us, temperatures just into the high teens. So it won't be the warmest July day we've ever had at Old Trafford, but there will be some sunshine for the cricket tomorrow. Slight chance of a shower on Monday, and apart from one or two showers around on Monday and Tuesday, a lot of fine weather out there. Good night.